Hey homies, I'm Honey Bee. On this week's episode, we're doing another look inspired by Hailey Bieber. Everything she does is so gorgeous, effortless. If you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So for this look, I prep my hair by curling it. I used a one inch curling iron. Use whatever size you want. So our first step, we want to section out our hair, of course. We're going to be putting it in a half ponytail. Kind of push my hair back, fingers at the tips of my ears, and I'm just tracing along to about just above my crown because I want it to be a little bit perky. And then I'm just gonna clip this underneath piece out of the way. Now we're gonna section out our face framer. I have like little bangs here, but I think I want the face framer to sit a little longer. So I'm just taking it a little further back. I'm tracing to the corner of my hairline here, I guess, around here. So I'm doing diagonal section. Ooh, I love it. Damn, honey. Remember keeping your sections clean and out of the way is gonna make this super easy for you. I'm just brushing brushing out my top section here. Make sure you're not dragging the brush against the back there. I'm gonna take a little bit of mousse and spray it along the root area of my French section. You could also use hairspray if you don't have mousse. Sorry, can you guys hear my doggo? He's so loud, he's a little snorter, he's a boo dog. Okay, now just start brushing it up. I'm using a board bristle brush, but you could use whatever brush you have. The mousse kind of gets the hair damp, so as it dries, it kind of sets in this brush back position. Take your comb and go over your section again. You know what? My hair is still feeling a little soft. If it feels soft at all, that means it's not going to hold as good as possible. So before I finish putting the ponytail in, I'm just going to like put some more product up in there. Oh yeah, now that's nice and wet, dog. This is an arm workout, dog. So make sure you're looking in the mirror when you're doing this because you want your ponytail to be center. Ooh, I like the way that's sitting. Okay, after you have your ponytail in, make sure you like the spot that it's in. Mine is a little perkier than our inspo, but I don't care, it's all good. Okay, now I'm just taking a chunk of hair, take it from the side or back, and I'm gonna use a little bit of product. Let's use a little bit of hairspray. If this piece of hair feels soft, it means you need more product. Brush it out, and I'm gonna start wrapping from the back all the way around, and pull tight when you're doing this. Look in a mirror to make sure you're actually covering the ponytail. Okay, now I'm gonna pin it in the back here. I'm just sliding this little piece of hair through the opening of the bobby pin. I'm not opening the bobby pin at all though, and I'm just sliding the bobby pin in towards the ponytail. When you slide it underneath the ponytail, it really locks on a lot better. And I'm gonna use two bobby pins doing the same thing, sliding the hair in the opening, and then just crisscrossing it with that other bobby pin so it really holds on to each other. Okay, and now just take out your other clips. And I like a little bit of a sleeker look, so I'm just going to brush out my hair. I want the ponytail to be a little more floofy, so I'm just gonna take sections and just kind of gently back home it. Okay, it's a little more floof now. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the look already! Damn! Mm -hmm. I'm wearing a Skims bodysuit. Sometimes it gives me like uniboob, so I'm gonna like get the girls in check. So next step, spray hairspray. And again, like this part is not necessary. Ooh, I like to do it because it gives a more polished look. I'm just gonna take a matte eyeshadow that's close to my hair color and I'm gonna fill in my hairline. You kind of mix them up, I don't know. Make sure you use a fluffy brush when you do this too. Make sure you're going away from the face when you're doing this because if you're going back and forth, it's totally gonna mess up your hair. Okay, so this is the finished look. So easy, but I feel like it looks so polished, so sexy. And I'm really digging the center part with the one face framer because when we get to show off our snatched cheekbones, our snatched makeup, you know we be working on that contour, baby. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, I make it mean like that. That's it for this week's episode. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. If you're digging the content I'm putting out, then please subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Blue, sit. Sit.